So Apple just had their earnings report in the stock crash and this is the perfect opportunity that we've been looking for that i'm going to show you guys a strategy that if you have would have done the strategy any time from from now to 10 years ago so over the last 10 years if you would have done this strategy you would have made money no one would have ever lost using this strategy not only would you have made money but you will be able to generate income every single month that will help you pay the bills that is the strategy that i'm going to show you guys in this video now you do kind of want to be patient and find the perfect entry but when apple had the earnings report and they kind of crashed today hopefully i could get this information and video out before the market changed too much if you guys do want direct access to this i'm gonna leave a link to my patreon the patreon will take you to the discord Inside the Discord, I post all of my trades in there, my option trades, every time I buy and sell the stocks. And we also have three pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day. So if you wanna be a part of a community of traders that wanna be financially free, just like you, go ahead and check that out. And also in there, I'm gonna show you guys and teach you guys the two strategies that I'm gonna show you inside this video, inside the Discord. If you guys want access to these strategies, it's, it's gonna be inside the Discord. So make sure that you check that out right now while you can. Okay, here we are on Apple. Apple started off the day at 2.30 and then it pulled all the way back to 2.22. This is the perfect pullback that we've been looking for. In fact, over the last week, Apple is down almost 4%. They went all the way down to 2.21, down 4.16%. So around 3.73% at the time of the recording of this video. But now that Apple finally had the pull, Apple don't have many book pullbacks. And when they do, it's usually a couple of percent, not 4% hopefully we could get them at an even bigger pullback at the perfect entry but let's just use this four percent pullback as an example so over the last year apple is up 31 percent so apple's averaging 31 percent over the last year over the last five years apple is up 263 percent so that's around 52 percent average every single year and over the last 10 years, Apple's up 753%. That's around 75% every single year. That's insane. So as you guys can see over the last 10 years, Apple usually goes up. And when something usually goes up over the, over the last decade, over the last 15 years, you guys see a trend, you guys see a pattern. We can see that Apple usually goes up. So when we see a pullback, we could go in and enter a leap option now a leap is a long-term equity anticipation security basically it's any option that expires longer than a year out now as you guys can see apple's at 222 right now now let's just say if apple usually goes up 50 40 percent in a year let's just say a 35 percent gain so if apple's at 222 right now and we have a 35 percent gain plus 222 you could expect apple to be around 300 a year from this date if it continues to have that 30 35 percent gain every single year even if it doesn't have that 35 percent game every single year you could kind of expect apple to go up eight nine maybe ten percent in a year so with the expected target of 300 we want to hit trade go to trade options and then we're going to go out an entire year and then i'm going to show you the leap option first and then i'm going to show you guys how to create monthly income from this one leap option so let's go out something further than a year we're going to look at december 19 2025 that's longer than a year out and they want to hit buy a call now here's the trick guys you want to look for a delta right you want to look for a delta down there it says 0. 0.76 you want to look for a delta for at around 0. 0.8 so let's look at the 90 car right here we're going to click that the delta right there is 0. 0.81 that's comfortable for me that means for every dollar that apple goes up your option is going to go up 80 cents and options are multiply it by 100 shares so every dollar apple goes up your option contract is going to go up 80 dollars so it's going to cost us a lot of money to buy an in the money call right now it's apples at 222 and we're buying a 190 call with an 80 delta so that's going to cost us 5285 which is 5285 dollars yes it costs a lot but let me show you how much you can make with with that five thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars okay so we're going to come to option strategy. we're going to type in apple it took us some but aapl there it goes and then the expiration date that we chose was with december 19th so there it goes that's 1.1 years out and then the call that we selected was the 190 call so let's scroll down we expected apple to go up to 300 dollars let's look at the range 
Let's make the range a little bit more. So if even if it pulls up to right here to where it says $268, in November, our contract will be worth $3,739. And if we wait to expiration, it'll be worth $2,553. And if it comes all the way up to $298, almost $300, in January, it would be worth $6,000. And if we go all the way to expiration, it would be worth $5,553. That is a 100% gain. Even though Apple only goes up 30, 35, 40% in a year, we're doing a 100% gain on these leap options. And that's why people love doing leap options. And if it continues to go up above the, the $300 price point, you guys can make upwards to $9,000, $10,000. But that, that is very, being very optimistic. Even though Apple some years do go up 40%, let's just keep it conservative and say 30, 35%. And now you're doing those 100% gains on Apple just based off the of statistics over the last 10 years. If you ever put a leap option inspiring over a year on Apple, you made money. You made money. Now, let me show you how to generate even more income. So not only are you going to double your $5,000 to $10,000, I'm going to show you how to create monthly income on your leap option. And this is called a poor man cover call. Okay. So after you buy your 190 call, you have the option to buy 100 shares of Apple. So now you could do poor man cover calls on Apple. So you want to hit sell calls and now you could sell options on your leap option that you have of Apple that is called a poor man cover call. This is inflated right now. The prices are inflated right now. And the premium is inflated right now because of their recent earnings report. But let's go out a month from now to November 29th. This is about a month from now in our chance. And we could click a chance of profit right here of 240 that if Apple is not going to be above 240 at the end of November 2029 at the end of November 29th, 2024. And we, we, and we will collect a premium of $2.38 per share. So that's $238 premium that we will collect every single month on Apple. As long as Apple doesn't go above 240. If it do go above 240, we will just roll it up and out a month or roll it up and out a week until we don't get assigned to sell our shares at that price. But even if we do get assigned to sell our shares at that price, we have, we have made the profit from it going from 222. You, you won't lose money. It's hard to explain. All of that is going to be inside of the Discord. So if we are collecting 238 per month, we can multiply that by 12. So 238 per month, we multiply that. So 238 per month. Guys, what can you do with an extra $238 per month? You're making money on the options that you're already making money on. So multiply that by 12. You can make an extra $2,856 on top of the $5,000 gain that you probably could get from your leap option on Apple. Let me know down in the comment section. Is this something that you guys would possibly do? And there we go, guys. That is a win win strategy. I absolutely love this strategy on good quality stocks. Let me know down in the comment section. Have you ever heard of leap options? Have you ever heard of poor man cover calls? Let me know if you heard of any of that down in the comment section and drop a scary money. Don't make no money down in the comment section that let me know you made it to the end of this video. If you if it ain't saying that, that, that let me know that you didn't make it to the end of this video and you not one of the real ones. So go ahead, hit that thumbs up button for being real, making it to the end of the video. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button because I'm telling you guys, once I put out the end detail, the, the very detail, I kind of just ran through it right there because I forgot to tell you that you can't start to sell cover calls on your options until you're in profit on your leaps. There's a lot of little things that you guys got to pick up on. But once I create that and get very in detailed, all of that is going to go to my Patreon. All of that is going to go inside my discord. Make sure that you check that out because this is something that you guys need to learn. A lot of people want to learn how to invest. And then once they get their good foundation, after they learn how to invest inside good quality stocks, the next thing they want to do is learn how to option trade. And a lot of people go to day trading and lose a lot of money from day trading to where they start to dig inside of their solid base foundation of their portfolio. And guys, that is money that you have made. That is money that you have invested. And I'm so proud of you guys for investing and making that leap of faith to start the investment journey. But I don't want to see you guys lose that money. And there's better ways and there's better ways. There's less 
risky raise for new investors to begin to option trade to help you have an 80, 90% chance of winning ratio compared to 50, 50. Most people blowing their account. Most people losing all of their money, gambling almost. We're going to take this calculated risk, all of that. I, I can't wait to pull out those videos so you guys can finally learn how to actually create income to help you pay the bills and actually live off of some of your premiums that you will be collecting once you learn this skill, once you learn this trade. But yeah, guys, also let me know down in the comment section, are you gonna pick up Apple if it continues to drop? Is Apple done for? Is Apple done for? Is it a bad stock to invest inside now? I don't think it's a bad stock to invest into now. If it pulls back to the 190s, if it pulls back to the under $200, I see it as a discount and I'm going to go in and buy up some more shares. That's what I'm going to do. You guys can do what you want, but I like Apple. It's a trillion dollar company. They have stock buybacks. They acquire companies every single year. The products really not changing too much, but they are pioneers. I love what they're doing. So if it do pull back, I don't think Apple is done. Do you think Apple is done? Let me know. But, but yeah, guys, other than that, if you guys do want to pick up some, some free stocks, Mumu have given me a link to give to you guys right now. If you sign up with Mumu, deposit $100. They're giving you guys 10 to 15 free fractional shares that you could go in and pick up just from signing up and depositing money inside their account. So take full advantage of that awesome opportunity. But yeah, guys, Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.